So today I'm gonna to try to convert one of these great little lights that runs off of three AAA batteries into one of these great little lights that runs off of a USB power pack. This is a, just a, an iPhone cord. It's got the USB end on it. And I don't know what happened to it, but the other end is missing. So I'm just gonna use this as my cord because why wreck a good one? I'm sure you can use any USB cord. Like if you have an um, Android or even a charging cord for some device. I mean, everyone's got a million of these things around their house these days. So you'll need a sacrificial cord. And these, these are really cool. They're like 350 at Walmart and they're nice. I mean, it's got like the high setting, the low setting and red, which is great for in a tent at night. I mean, you don't wreck your night vision when you're, you know, getting dressed and whatever for bed. I'm gonna try to convert this from these to this, like I said. Each AAA battery is 1.5 volts. There's three of them in here. These battery packs output five volts. So that's gonna be close enough where this doesn't wreck the light. So first thing, we'll just take the light apart. It kind of unscrews, I think, or I don't know, it goes like that. They come apart pretty easy. And this is what we're left with inside here. And all I'm really gonna do, I don't wanna wreck the ability to use the batteries. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna solder right onto the board. So you've got positive here, the red, red wire, and then negative here, or there, I guess you can see there. So I'm just gonna strip this back and see what we've got here. If you can see, some of these cables have this like raw wire in there and that's generally ground. So you wanna take all these and put them together the best you can. Cause you're gonna twist them together and make like a single ground wire out of it. And USB cables, they have like five wires in them. Generally, like, I guess an iPhone cable doesn't, but you'll have red, white, green, and black. You don't want to, you know, you don't have to worry about the, the green and the white. Those are data, data cables. So all we're concerned about is positive and ground. So those I'll just get out of the way. And there's some fuzzy, I don't know, insulation or something in there too. So we want to get all the bare wire together that we can because that's going to be our ground. And then we'll cut out all the fuzzies here and get it all cleaned up so it makes a nice actual like singular wire like that. Yeah, it's stripped back enough now so I'm just going to tin the end of this a little bit so it's easier to solder onto the light. A clean soldering iron is a happy soldering iron. <laughs> you gotta keep it clean, otherwise it doesn't solder very well. All right, that should be it for the connections. Let's give it a whirl, see if it works. Cool, it works. Now in order to get the cover back on, obviously we got this problem now, cords in the way. And then on inside here, the ribs are right here. Otherwise I'd go right out the, the side here, but that's not gonna work. So I'm just gonna go next to the ribs. I'll have to notch this to match. And then make my little mark here. In there, in there. Just pop 
this right off. There we go. Okay, so now we know that works. These work, everything's good, it's all lined up. Now I'm going to take a little bit of hot glue and glue the cable in place inside here to reduce the strain on, on the uh, solder joints. Got of that. Stick that in there. There. That's pretty stable. Put a little more around it just for good measure. It probably really doesn't matter, but I don't like the idea of this wire not having any sheathing on it. It's not really near anything. It, you know, it, it's not really going to touch anything. But I don't like it, so I'm just going to put some liquid electrical tape on it. And that's just an, basically probably an unnecessary step, but that's just how I roll. Stinky. That'll do. I think we're all set. No batteries anymore. Quite a bit lighter too. Of course the battery pack is much heavier than three AAAs, but it will also last a hundred times longer. There we go. Do you ever notice with USB cables, no matter which way you plug them in, it's the wrong way. You have like a 50-50 shot of getting it right, and you never do. At least I never do. I hate that. Well, hopefully that was useful. And as always, if I can do it, you can do it. Thanks for watching. <laughs>